Good morning, YouTubers. It's uh, Friday of the first week of Lent. And we are praying the morning prayer from the breviary, which is the Liturgy of the Hours, Lenten season, week four, Friday morning. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. We turn to you, O oh God of every nation, giver of life and origin of good. Your love is at the heart of all creation. Your hurt is people's broken motherhood. We turn to you that we may be forgiven for crucifying Christ on earth again. We know that we have never wholly striven, forgetting self to love the other man. Free every heart from pride and self-reliance, our ways of thought inspire with simple grace. Break down among us barriers of defiance. Speak to the soul of all the human race. Teach us, good Lord, to serve the need of others. Help us to give and not to count the cost. Unite us all, for we are born as brothers. Defeat our babble with your Pentecost. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Psalm 51. Your inmost being must be renewed, and you must put on the new man Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23 through 24 have mercy on me God in your kindness in your compassion blot out my offense O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin my offenses truly I know them my sin is always before me against you you alone have I sinned what is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then, in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, Bird offering for me you would refuse. 
my sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. A canticle from Tobit, chapter 13, verses 8 through 11 and 13 through 15. Thanksgiving for the people's deliverance. He showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, which shone with the glory of God. From Revelations chapter 21, verse 10 through 11. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness, and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be built in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who are captives, all who are ravaged may he cherish within you, for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the kings of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the chosen one through all ages forever. Go then rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements, for they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. Psalm 147, verses 12 through 20, the restoration of Jerusalem. Come, I will show you the bride of the Lamb. Revelations chapter 21, verse 9. Oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs 
The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O powerful God, it is through your church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Zion, praise your God who sent his word to renew the earth. A reading is from Isaiah chapter 53, verses 11b through 12. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. Therefore I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty, because he surrendered himself to death and was counted among the wicked. And he shall take away the sins of many, and win pardon for their offenses. Responsory <laughs> God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. When you meet those who are in need of clothing, do not turn away from them, for they are your brothers. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your good deeds shall go before you. Canticle of Zechariah Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. When you meet those who are in need of clothing, do not turn away from them, for they are your brothers. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your good deeds shall go before you. Intercessions 
Let us pray to Christ, our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. Lord, have mercy on us. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. Lord, have mercy on us. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. Lord, have mercy on us. On the cross, you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer to Christ the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Now let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our closing prayer. Lord, with your loving care, guide the penance we have begun. Help us to persevere with love and sincerity. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks.